Welcome to Hypholisha. Hypholisha, Hypholisha. Hello, Felicia. Hello, Marnie. Episode lucky number 13 here. 13. 13. And what an episode we have because honestly, there's a lot of entertainment news this week. It wasn't like, oh my God, I want to talk about all the shows. I just want to talk about all the things. Do you have any idea what news I'm talking about? Well, I assume one is P. Diddy. Uh Aha! But I I don't quite know what happened, and I figured you would fill me in. Well, like so much. There's so much to uncover. 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 Um, Yes. Or deep dive. The allegations are, there's just so much. There's rape allegations. He did it? Yes. Like current or like pre- Like a year, a few years ago. No, not 20. Like a few years ago. I mean, really? Sex trafficking. (sighs) And when I think sex trafficking, I think bringing in children from like uh, another- Content. Yes, yes, and South America. But no, this sex trafficking is like him hitting up like Instagram models, apparently put them on a stipend and paid them as sex workers and flew them from like New York to California <laughs> on a PJ. But this is not <laughs> confirmed. We don't, There's this a is lot. allegations. But which I, I, but I, I, mom, I, yeah, yeah. mom, 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 don't you think the raid that they did on that house... They must have a lot of fucking digging. I am not following. So there was a raid on which house? The house he owns in California, LA, like, and he was like already like on a fucking helicopter to like Miami oh, to get or out. Some shit. Out. Oh, you you haven't been following? No, because uh, I just can't follow you. this. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I mean, there's so he's got, much. He's got so many companies there's, going on. Why would he? I just it, it is a why like why why did why he? yeah why? But I think it's been something that's been going on for years and like. Is it you know, him or is it people that are like hanging on him? That's the thing. No, I, I, I you think, think it's him. I Why would it's he do him? That? He's got enough money to choke a horse. A house found, well, lots of guns, lots of guns found, weapons, lots of drugs. Like oh, J Lo, how happy you got mush- out of that? Oh my god! <laughs> and it's so funny because there was dr- let's not forget when J Lo. Yeah, there was a gun. Thing there was a or, scandal right, where there was right. gunshots and, when they were at a club, and she went. I'm out of here. I know. I wonder what she's thinking now. She was, Thank God I got out of this. But I, I, I think it's a big deal, and I'm, I'm curious what happens. Um, it's confusing. There's so many different lawsuits. Um, Why is it all coming out now? I think there was a lawsuit. A 35-page federal complaint accused Combs of sexual assault, battery, and sex trafficking, and of a, requiring her to engage in forced sexual acts. That came up. She filed in November 23. So this wasn't years ago. Right. Then more lawsuits came out about her. Apparently. And a lot of lawsuits. Maybe he didn't pay her off. And then, uh, just, there's a lot. It's a lot. lot. It is a lot. Which is why I can't, because I don't understand it. What a surprise. So we're going to table it? (laughs) Well, unless you want to talk about it, because I don't. What else can we say? What else can we say? I mean. Diddy's raping and drugging and weaponizing. Oh, Diddy, what are you doing? You're not a kid. You were a fan of Diddy. Weren't you? I'm a fan. I, I oh don't my know god! If I like would go. rumors of like him setting up the Tupac murder. <laughs> oh god! No, I don't know if I was that deep into him involved. No, but, but I, I feel like you liked him, didn't you? I just thought he was like you know a really good businessman. Do you I mean, want to talk about your love in two seconds about Eminem? Oh, I really liked his music. Liked, the, li- like, well, like, like. He's yes. not dead. No, he's not. He's I just haven't heard us. from him in a long time. Not that he's calling me, but I haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard any. I mean, I know his daughter's all grown up. The one, you know, mm-hmm. and and she looks very pretty from what I've seen. <laughs> not that that matters to. Oh, know. I think he's around. He's yeah. around. I'm sure he's around. He's around. Um, did you hear about Gypsy Rose? <laughs> Explain that. I, okay. I mean, you had a picture on Instagram. Well, I don't yeah. know if it was you or Jordan. I'm not both, quite sure. Both of us. And was that like photoshopped it, or was no, that real? No, it was real? an announcement. Her and her husband are, are separating. No, but why was Pete... There was a picture with her and Pete Davidson. Oh, yeah. That is obviously making the rounds. But was it photoshopped? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the okay. joke is that who's next with Pete Davidson? Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. And is he going to scoop up Gypsy Rose, which would be so fucking funny? Oh, God. Casey, find that photo and add it to his social. She married this man while she was in jail. Right. And they're getting separated. So the question is, do you think that she's like, I don't need him because I'm so famous now? How about 
what was I thinking or what was he thinking? What are they? What are these people thinking? You don't get married he's when a, you're in jail. He's a, I'm a hello, prison oh, bride. God, he What's was. With he's you? a he's a middle school teacher. What was he? A what was he thinking? Well, I wonder if he still has his job. Well, like, should he be fired for for I, getting I, married? I, I, no, but they don't like the the Pu- them people the, in public, right? Apparently, they started talking before she went to jail, so they knew oh. each other. They get married in jail, and I think she's like, I'm done. You know, I don't think she has enough brains to do that. Maybe it's her people now. I really don't think she has enough brains to do that. Somebody had a whisper in her ear, you got to get out of this. Well, uh, he might be the best thing that happened to her. Maybe, but what's He's happening- a middle school teacher. Why? I don't understand why you think that. Uh, because- He's not bad news. Why? No, no, I understand, but something's going on, and I really do believe maybe her lawyer or her publicist, she's got all these people now. I you know. know that. It's funny you think that. I think it's just playing all like- She's like, I don't need this. I don't need to be married to this guy. I have a whole life in front of me. I could write how old books. Is she, how old she's is she? She's young. What's young? She's probably in her 20s. Okay. Right, Casey? I think she's in her 20s. Okay. What, how old is Gypsy Rose? I mean, who can deal with these people that are so young and doing, doing such stupid mistakes? I mean, is it a mistake that she got married to a middle school teacher? Not the middle school teacher part, but uh, I, I mean, how long was she seeing him? How long did she know him before she went to jail? She's I don't 32. know. She's 32. I mean, she's, oh, she's, she's 30. young. 30, she's 32? Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, she's, she's not 19. You know, 32. Her childhood was so fucked up. In her mind, she might be seven. Like, oh, and maybe well. she's like, right. This stunted poor girl. Gro- stunted, she stunted, stunted growth. Her whole life, she thought she had fucking cancer. Well, yeah, you know. Did you? You never a, watched it, I forgot. No, I couldn't. It's, it's so deplorable. It's like Munchhauser, what's it called? Yeah. Mun- yeah. yeah. The mom made her. I know, I know. I, I mean, now they made like things. two shows about it, or they made the a Max movie. Max had a doc. Yeah, we discussed this. It's like, why? I, enough already. Jordan, where are you at with this? Holla to Jordan. Uh, mom, I know, do you, what are your thoughts on, you like a biopic, like you saw the Bob Marley, One Love. Yes, yes. I'm a fan of the biopic. I, I am, depending on who it is, obviously. I got to tell you, what do, the what, amount of biopics that are about to get made oh, what are we in the coming next out? year. What's coming are you, out? Are you ready for this list, everybody? Okay. It's huge. Let's hear it. Who's playing Bob Dylan? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. This is a fun uh, game. T- T- Timothy Chalamet. Correct. Ah, I can't believe I found it. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> Who is going to be playing Bruce Springsteen? Oh, who? Well, you thought he didn't have a pretty face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeremy Allen White. From okay, the all right, all right, all right. Who's okay. playing Linda Ronstadt? Who? Selena Gomez. You're not going to know this. They're doing one about young Donald Trump. They're oh, doing look, one about Donald could, Trump. Can I throw up? Young Trump, played by Sebastian uh, Stan, who I'm a fan of, who played uh, Tommy Lee in, in the... Um, in that Hulu show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Town. With, with, uh, uh, I, I, Oh, I, this is great. I, this is, this is, might be an official thing happening. Who's playing Richard Simmons? Who's been dying to play Richard oh, Simmons? Wait, I, I kind of heard about that, yes. but who, who, yes. who, who? Okay, I'm going to give you clues. Encino Man. I'm going to give you clues. MTV. This is like the green taboo. Clues about what actor who wants to play Richard Encino Simmons. Encino Man was, was what's, uh, right, but this man was in it as well as his friend. Buddy. Oh, not, not, not sh- sure. No. Yes. No. Pauly Shore. Oh my God, I can't believe I got that. I, I, Whoa. Mom, Pauly, Pauly Shore Pauly apparently Sh- wants to play Richard Simmons, but I think it's going to happen now. Now tell, just Pauly Shore's mother. Oh, owned, where's this going? The co- one of the comedy show, one of comedy the comedy clubs. Right. In, 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 in LA? On, in LA, on Sunset Boulevard. Yes. A gazillion comedy years ago. S- I don't remember no. if it was Comedy Store. Okay. Com- I mean, comedy Store. I think it's the Comedy Store. Uh, uh, yeah. And and yeah, that's how he got his claim to fame. Well, and this then is he became really like fun, a, a actor. Okay, that's cool. You're not going to get this. All right, Elon Musk biopic directed by Darren Aronofsky. Oh, Darren Aronofsky's really good. There's going to be a Michael Jackson biopic, oh, but God. Michael Jafar Jackson is playing Michael Jackson. I don't know who that is. A relative. A who cousin? is Maria Call- Maria Callas? Is a Maria star- Callas? Who's that? She's an opera singer. Starring. I believe, who's, who's? I can't believe I know that. Who's also. playing her? I somebody who could sing, obviously. I Interesting, because I didn't know that Angelina Jolie could sing. Oh, is she gonna come out singing and win an Oscar? Oh God, Daisy really? Edgar Jones as Carol King. All right, who's I could playing, buy that. I could buy that. Who's playing Fred Astaire? You like this person? He's a dancer. He's got to be able to he dance. Sings. It's, uh, and he's uh, somebody. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Somebody who is on. What? Glee. It has to be one of the guys. No, from Glee. but, but no, this who? is a person who? who I think should have played Wonka. 
Okay, tell me. This is a person who dates Zendaya. You like him. Tom oh, I Holland, do. Tom right? Tom Holland. I, so, I like him so much. I know. I love them as a couple. I know. I really do. They're so cute. Wait, this game is still going. Who, okay. Who's playing jo- James Baldwin? Tall, okay. black, Well, gay is it man. a young James Baldwin or is it an older James Baldwin? I, you that know, makes a big I don't difference. have the age range right. here, but Billy Porter. Really? Really. Really. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I can see that. Good, good for Billy. Amy Winehouse. There's a biopic coming out and with who's, with you won't you don't know her, but I know her because I, I I'm a big fan of her. She's an in industry. Marissa Abella. Um, I've seen the trailer and it looks great. You're telling me they're making all these biopics? Yeah. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be on air. They can make all you these, want if it comes uh, this out. This is like, so much, right? They, yeah, that is a lot. Candy Darling. Who's Candy Darling? I only know Candy Spelling. Spelling. <laughs> And she's way Who's too Who's Candy old. Darling starring Harry yeah. Neff? Nat King Cole musical starring Coleman Domingo, who had a big year. Okay. He's also in Euphoria, and he was in Rustin. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. That's all the That's, biopics. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm breaking a lot of entertainment yes, buzz. except I assume they won't all be out at the same time. They will not be out at the same two, time. These are all like unit. just being announced. Right, right. Let's see. I bet, you that Bruce, I bet you that Bruce Springsteen one is going to get pushed, like pushed yeah, to come out. I, I, I agree with Jeremy you. Jeremy Allen, man. I agree with you because he's hot. I mean, he's, you know. Oh, I now she's saying she's hot. No, no, no. He's hot. He's hot. In other words. The body's hot. Oh, no. He's hot right now. Yes. Because, you know, he's got. Yes. Yes. He's having a moment. He's having a moment. He's having his year. Okay. Let's call it that. Felice, did you ever watch? I don't think you did, but I loved this show. Shrinking. No, I never did. And on Apple TV. Yes, it is on Apple. With Who's your buddy. It? It's your boy, Harrison Ford. He's 900 years old. But, but okay. he's your friend. Yes, yes, he's my buddy. And yes. and if you don't know why he's um, Felicia's friend, just listen to the Casey Ellis point of view bonus episode listed on the High Felicia show. Little horror show. Um, and Jason Siegel. Yes, Jason so Siegel. So the news about this is Brett Goldstein, who is great from Ted Lasso, is going to be in the next season of Shrinking. If you have not seen Shrinking, I recommend it. Now, I started watching it. I didn't love it. I gave it a second shot, and wow. It was just like a feel-good, great show. I'm excited for another season. It's what? really enjoyable. How long did it take you to like it? Second, second, second episode? episode. I was in. All right, okay, like it's it's really good. He okay. plays like his wife died. He plays a therapist and he tries a new way of like, you know, treating people. And it's it's okay. funny. It's, it's not, sweet. Okay, as long as nobody's bashing each other. No and one's happy. Felicia, I think you I, should I, give this a shot. I, I, okay. And Harrison's in it. And Harrison but, plays a therapist. They all like have it one big office space. Uh, and Harrison yes. tries to like. I, I'm 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 really into shrinking. And I know a lot of people that. Anybody that watched the full season of Shrinking loves it. Okay. And Brett Goldstein, we love Brett Goldstein. He's the guy with the beard from Ted Lasso who curses a lot. Okay. Um, okay. What else? Did you ever watch, I don't think you did either, The Jinx on HBO? That was like the crazy guy. Oh, that the guy. Uh, no, the guy that, who like. I, I did watch, I think, one or two episodes and I, uh, I just, I can't watch these people. You don't love a true crime. No, I really don't. Well, in that last episode, I mean, not, not that this is like a spoiler. Is he if, dead if, now? No. He, no, oh, he's I don't still think alive? Uh, this is not that this is a spoiler. Is, is he, I mean, he literally like confesses on the last episode on a hot mic. Right. I kind of, yeah. Being like, but, yeah, I did it. Yeah. He's There's going to be a part two premiere April 21st. More deep diving of the jinx. Robert, what's his name? Robert Durst. I, I'm in for it. I think there was a time when we were watching this and Casey said to me, I think I saw him on the street. I was like, no, you didn't. Do you remember that, Casey? We can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, he says yes. Um, okay, another one. There's so many things. Did you ever watch the Jennifer Garner show on Apple, The Last Thing He Told Me, which was a book? I, 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 no, I never did because I can't watch. I don't have enough time in my day to watch all the shows mm. I want to watch and then now all the shows you want me to watch. Well, that's been renewed and I always think it's if it's been renewed and it's a book that then means it was good okay or people are watching it okay and I'm a fan of Garner no I like her I, I like mean, her I, 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 she's listen I'm glad she got rid of Ben yeah because she you know what did she need him for he traded one gen for another yeah which <laughs> <laughs> I like kind Jennifer Garner she seems like so nice she's, she seems that way I know what was she doing with Ben nice. her parents why do you know her parents I, her, I, her father did a commercial for something <laughs> with her I don't know why I know that I'm sorry I love I just, that now there's a, a lot of reality TV show news um the New York City Real Housewives of that new cast, they're all back. They all they all got recast to be in another season. Oh. And the surprise to me was that Jenna Lyons signed up again for this. And I can't help but think, she loves the fame. 
she's she seems like she's so cool. They all love the fame. I know. Are you kidding? They I, love it. I know. I was. I guess I was surprised that Jenna Lyons signed up to be on season one of the week from the from the. Not that it's season one. It's like season 15. They're still calling Just it. Just remind everybody who she is. Jenna Lyons, remind Felicia. That's what she's saying. Remind me. Felicia's saying, remind me who she is. Is that the J. Crew girl? Yes, Oh, it my is. God. I can't believe it. It's yes. the J. Crew girl. She's yes. gay. And she's got- She's gay? What? I you she didn't was, know this? I guess not. This was big even when she- oh, There was right. like a big story. Like she felt like she, the post outed her when she was at J. Crew and it wasn't oh, fair. You know, you're she's right. Got like it's some, not fair. What is it's it not anybody's, fair. It's not anybody's business. What? Leave these people- If you're everybody. in the limelight, I'm sorry. You I, sign up for a reality show. Wait, your sexuality should not- It's, not, it's part it's, of your it's, life. No, it's part of your life. I don't think so. I'm sorry. If I'm on a reality That's show- private life. It, no, it's not because it's what people want to see. If I'm on a reality show and the New York Post puts an article out that me and my husband are having a fight or we're getting along, yeah, I'm not going to like it, but I fucking signed up for this. I'm so sorry. I, I don't feel bad for these people. Am I signing up for anything doing this You're not podcast? on a reality show. I know, but I'm on a podcast and I hope I didn't <laughs> sign up for anything because <laughs> whatever comes out in my life will be scary. What? What? I'm not going to talk to you about it now. Wait! Oh my God! What is going on right now? When I was oh. a teenager. No. Wait! 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 No! 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 I'm not talking. So, to you. But what could it? Could it be that bad? No! 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 So no, why no. don't you want to talk I, about it? I don't it. want to talk about it on air. Sorry. <laughs> Unless I, I have to confirm it with you before I start to, next week. Next week's episode. Okay, great. I can't wait to maybe we'll make make this part of a bonus episode. Fine. Moving on. More news. Candace, you know, so you don't watch Real Housewives of Potomac, I, but there's an update that Candace, who's been on the show, she's leaving. And this girl, she loves to trash talk, and she gets into fights. And I feel like she's leaving because she looks like she's just not looking good these days. Aww. So, did you hear about all the selling sunset tea? You whoa, watch whoa, selling whoa, sunset? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Somebody, oh yeah, so whoa, much wait, selling sunset yes, tea. Yes, wait, what's her name? Christine. Oh, Quinn. she's getting divorced. Well, from the very wealthy guy. The, the guy's so fucking wealthy, right. Christian. But what's crazy is there's pictures of him getting arrested. She called the cops on him. Apparently, like, he was chucking, like, he chucked a bag full of fucking glass at their kid. Apparently, at the kid, he had a rampage over the course of two days. And apparently, she's claiming that he threw, like, feces at her while he was, like, throwing one of these fits. Like, it's insane. And then, apparently, uh, he pulled his penis out and started urinating right there on the floor. It's crazy. Another one who has a brain. Well, pictures. He, I, she. This is like a very like she married him for the money. Wow. Well, she yeah. definitely married him for yes, the money because he's. Yeah. I do. I will say this. She was a great character on Selling Sunset, and like I think they need her back. Right. I think she was like Did such she, a star. So she only, I know she had the one kid. She, she only had one more. kid with okay. him. Okay. But then this is what's even crazier. He then got a restraining order out on her, and it got fucking like denied. They were like, yeah, no, this is not going to happen. Okay. Now somebody else is getting divorced. What's her name? The black girl from London, Chelsea, is getting divorced yes. from Jeff after seven years. And yeah. I like them. They seem happy. I, 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 thought, I thought they were, yeah, they I like them They seem happy. Yes. So there's a Wait, lot and then of- something with an actress. Brit, oh. Is it Britney Snow? I don't- Britney Snow. Oh, am I right? The gossip about Snow. She's getting divorced from- She's been divorced. Right. He was on Selling the OC. That's it. Yes. And what happened was- He was really cute. He's adorable. Yes. He's but, from like a real estate yeah, mogul yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, she was never on the reality show. Never. Respect never. that chick. She was probably like, I'll give him this. Right. She came out on a podcast <laughs> and she started talking about how basically the show like was the reason for their- Divorce, like I oh, think he was because uh, he was. A, what a surprise! He was flirting with Alex Hall, and then Alex Hall fucking came out with some like sly remarks. So, but I am impressed, Felicia, that you remembered Britney Snow. Now, do you watch Selling Sunset? I yes, you did or I you did? do? I did. I, is like, it, what is, you there, st- is there a new way? Wait, wait, no. But did you like continue watching? I watched like, I think with Rochelle. I, I, yes. Did you yes. watch Selling the OC? I feel like uh, you might have one, not. One season. Okay. One season. Funny story. Why is everybody so adorable and so beautiful? Is that how they, they you don't know, hire you I on, do, your, I, on your expertise about real estate? I, I do think. believe a lot of these people are casted. Yes. And like selling the OC when they're like, we have a new chick and she's going to get a real estate license. But this is funny. One of our listeners, she watches Buying Beverly Hills and I haven't given myself a chance have, to watch that. But I, you I know what she told me? I, what? Thank you, Stephanie. That they're showing the same houses. On selling Sunset and buying Beverly Hills. I'm not surprised. How many, I mean, how many on, sixty-five how many million dollar homes are there? can you show? Right, 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 right. I mean, they have to come to New York and maybe go to Kings Point or Sands Point <laughs> to do some of that. They're not going or, to New or, York. Or, or you're right. They're, they're not, not coming. To or New York. the Hamptons. You're it's right. All about California. This is about I know, California. I know, I know. I watch these shows because I'm entertained, and it's. Well, who I doesn't like, want to see a beautiful house? 
It's it's not so much about the beautiful house. I want to see the ridiculous clothing that these girls that are coming. I want to see their hair. I want to see their braids. And they've got their dresses their shoes. up to their puppet. How do they wear the heels up the fucking staircase to the... She's laughing so hard because she said puppet. Laugh it to the mic. <laughs> up to the... All right. For people puppet. who don't know that, go... What vajay. is puppet? V- no, I meant... I know what puppet is. What is it? Like vajaj. I, vajay. But like where did right. puppet come from? Is that I Yiddish? Don't, I don't know. Did you just make it up? <laughs> No, I didn't make it up. I think we should make that I, like a thing. I, I, right. The puppet? You know, whatever. They're up to their puppet. Yes. Or the vajayjays. The vajuj. Yes. I call it the vajuj. And they're probably not wearing underwear. Hard to go upstairs with it. I'm amazed that they go up the stairs in the heels. That too. Yes. Yes. <sighs> wow. Yes. There's more updates. Quiet on set has another episode coming out. And my friend Dan worked on it. April 7th, there's going to be another one. Really? Yeah. Felicia looks really upset about this. What are your thoughts? I thought it was... It's not done. There's more to say. I think more Drake Bell. There's more to say. Oh, I feel I know. so bad. You feel so really, bad. It's, yeah. so, it's doing. It's still, it's still like number one on Max. Like people love watching this. I'm sorry, I know. To say. and I almost don't want to let Lennon watch or any of the boys watch. Listen, to, no. Let me tell you something. Well, the new that, stuff is. I will like say. It. I rewatched. I'm watching the Thundermans with him. Yes, and, and the Thundermans is an old show. Right, but right. I made sure to watch the credits, and there was no Dan Schneider. Oh, there you go. There was no Dan Schneider. And at one point, they did cut him. There's more news, and it's very upsetting news. A lot of people are out of work in Hollywood. Yes, I get A lot that. of people. And, right. you know, people thought Hollywood re- would rebound after the strike, but it's actually been awful. And, and why do we think? So listen to this quote from an executive. I've seen a lot of downturns, lots of job losses, but I've never seen anything like this. One veteran top TV executive said, this is a full-scale depression for the entertainment industry. And I'll say it again. And it's why? sad. It's very sad. I think the mergers, I think people don't want to spend money. I think... The, you don't the, think the says, streaming services have something to do with this? Yeah, do you? sure, they sure right. they do. And and I, I, a lot of my friends are out of work, right? And I, I'm so grateful I'm working right now because I'm I'm kind of heading into the tech world and I'm going to stay in that world as, as hopefully as long as I can. It's really bad out there, and I'm seeing these viral videos of all these like Hollywood like crew people just out of work from sound to lighting to producers to casting. It, it's it's an awful time to be in the entertainment industry. Do you think it'll take two years to come back? I don't know. I'm scared that these that the streamers are going to hurt everybody and that well, the AI of it all and like well, just that's, everything. Yeah, yeah, that too. It's, it's right. sad. And, it I, is and sad. I hate to add the news segment on a sad note. So we're going to move on to what we've watched this week. Circumcised Gems. Now, let me tell you something. Since we're all like pop culture and all things, whatever we digest, I've got to give a shout out to Mrs. Beyonce. Okay? Let me tell you something. This, this album dropped yesterday. I think overnight, like Friday to Saturday. And Mama, was it Friday? Today, Saturday. I'm getting the. I'm not sleeping a lot. Um, and in the middle of the night, I'm 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 listening to that album, and I I just have to say, this album puts Justin Timberlake to fucking shame. Good for her. Wait, Justin this- Timberlake's album sucks. You said that. Wait, wait, wait. Be- this is the country. The supposed the country. Crunch- okay. Cowboy Carter. Now here's right. my thoughts. I've listened to this album more than once. I fucking love it. It's it's a show. Like I know there's going to be some video, music video, or, or some Netflix documentary to fucking correlate. I'm with sure this. that I'm sure they will. Here's the thing. They're, they're really smart. It's not country. It's not that oh, country. Not? There's like one track that's country. Oh, the one that everybody it's, is like yes. Tic Tac is hold on. Yes, which yes, I tried yes. to learn as well. Right. So listen to me. It is. It's 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 a fusion. Of, of the genres, there's right. some hip hop, there's pop, there's dance, there's some, there's some country, there's some ballads. Like, I think it's everything. But apparently, she got burned at the CMAs when she performed years ago with the with the chicks, and she was kind of like this, like a fuck can you, you. Can you just say the Dixie chicks? No, so, mom, it, they changed their name. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. I can't but say the Dixie chicks. Uh, they right, the chicks. They'll always be Dixie. It's like chicks. Puff is not Puff you're anymore. Right. He's Diddy. Right. Oh, so God. I think. I think there was like a fuck you, but I don't know why she was like, I'm going to put out this country album. And then like all the country folks were like, oh, she's going to put this country album. There's collaborators. There's a lot of support. Dolly Parton's not on a song, but Dolly Parton's on a track where she's, you know, uh, Willie Nelson's on an intro track. Uh, They're doing an intro to a track. Right. She covers Jolene. She covers Blackbird. That's not country. Miley Cyrus is on. How is Jolene? It was good. good. She's great. Okay. But my two favorite tracks is Miley's on a track and Post Malone. I am telling you, this is great. And you know what I'm realizing? I loved Lemonade. I fucking loved Lemonade. I I never was a Taylor Swift like diehard. There was only one Swift album that I loved, and it was during the pandemic, and it was Folklore, okay? Beyonce, I love an, a, a, an album that I could dance to. Like, the first track, Requiem for a Dream, I listened to this track, and I'm like, 
this is like, in my mind, I'm picturing like a Broadway show. This is a huge number. You never know. I think you might like this, Mom. Okay. I think I should pull and, it up oh, you for know, you. This is when I miss MTV, and I used to watch all the, 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 the videos. videos, and I don't get to see that Mom, anymore. Mom, in college- Does video do that? Does MTV There's do, they do music that videos, but it's on Vivo. V-E-V-O. Oh, okay. Not Vicky, not your Korean shit. No, it's not. Vivo, and it's like online. MTV's uh, not, does. maybe there's an hour that they play music videos. But I'll never forget this. In college- over what tw- over twenty years ago, right? Everyone in the all my friends, like when you walked around our sorority house, you walked into a room and everybody was watching something different. So one girl had the everybody; she was always watching the soap channel, right? One, General Hospital. One friend always had the cooking channel on. My room always had MTV on. Got it. We knew this is why right. I wrote the letter, and I have it, and I had MTV on with you, and this we is, watched and it for together. Anyone that doesn't know, I cracked into the business by literally actually typing, typing, and printing a letter to a producer whose name I saw on a credit of MTV's TRL and said, I will do anything for you. Can I intern for you? And put it in the actual mail. Right. Because there was no LinkedIn. That's right. And you weren't fucking emailing. And I got and I got an and internship. Daddy, so, dr- daddy drove you daddy into the, drove city the city and sat the- outside waiting for you. Yes. And that was my start to MTV. So lo and behold, this Beyonce album rocks and it's taking the internet by storm. And I love her and I'm in for it. And I'm disappointed. I love it so much. And I'm so, I don't know why I'm pre- Bringing up the Justin of it all, but I can't even listen to his album. Probably because we're going to the show. I know, and we're so going to be really upset. We're not going to be upset. He's going to play the hits, right? And we'll force ourselves to listen, right? So we spoke about Potomac a little in the news update, but the Housewives of Potomac finale was on, and oh my god, a fight broke out. Ooh, on okay, the show? a fight broke Ooh. out. But this is what's wild. Andy must have been thrilled. Cameras were down, oh. but audio was up. Oh, so black screen with the with the text of what the fight's about. Wow. Now, but here's what's happening. I remember when this actually went down when they were filming it and it was all over the internet. Like people in the bars were filming this right, fight. Right, right, right. So right. why couldn't the show get the cell phone footage that circled the internet Because they probably didn't, didn't want to pay them enough. I uh, don't know. It was crazy. Who knows? And that's why I think Candace is not coming back because she's, she cray. She's crazy. And They're then- crazy. You don't watch it, but me and Gordon- Okay, she's kind of a newer Potomac housewife. She came in maybe like a season or two ago. Um, and she is much younger than her husband. He's like 70. Oh. So now he- We know, we know what's, where it's going to well, go. With that. Well, here's the go. thing. So he gave her permission to sleep around. But, oh. but two things, but two things. Because he's getting old. No, no crap. And he said, he said two things to her. Be discreet and do not do this around the children. Don't bring a guy around the children. And she fucking did. Okay? She did. He's 70. He looks good for his age. But he's still- I feel bad for him because she's a hooch. Right. But what I'm realizing- Do they have children together? Yes, they do. But what I'm realizing, the theme of this, of what I'm learning today with all the Selling Sunset girls, these women, and I'm sorry to say this, they are gold diggers, they marry for money, then they start making their own money. Right, and then they And now they realize that they don't need him. Right. And what's the one thing you always told me when I was a little girl? (laughs) Make your own money. Get your own career. Do not depend on- any man. Sorry, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> These women. Yes, but Casey does so much more. Okay, that's he, not he the does. point. Of, we he know does. he does. But he the does. point is, is that these women were such money gold diggers, and now they're making their own money. They're like, we don't need them. Right. That's what I think we're right. regarding Mia. Right. And I agree. Felicia, people love it. Do you have for us... <laughs> Mom, should you look embarrassed. I, I am embarrassed because... I, all right. Here Real we go. Quick. Wait, no, do uh, I need to put the timer on, Felice? Yes. Oh, I love it. She's I, in. I, 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 Stand I by. And go. Okay, let me start with Hulu. Something called Impossible Air, H-E-I-R. I mean, I don't know, Air, you know. It's, you know, they have a lot of things with very wealthy CEOs and people who own the businesses, and then they have a lot of illegitimate children, apparently. That's usually, you know, the downfall of these very wealthy families. They have to bring in the illegitimate children. And all the siblings are pissed as hell because they're not going to be the head of it any, anymore. Anyway, that's just a little bit of it. Then there's intrigue and then there's deaths and then there's psychological trauma. And this show I was watching and then I lost Hulu. And as Marnie and Casey know, I kind of freak out and I don't know how to get back into it. However, luckily I, fa- I had all the stuff. It took me a day to... Do it. Anyway, started watching it again. So you found the time this week to watch some Korean content. A little bit, yes. I'm proud of you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Okay. Now, last week I mentioned that I wanted to watch the Tignataro. 
You watched it. I Guess did. what? So did I. Okay, I only there was well, I only had the chance to watch. Well, there was they, it's only it's right. a special. I don't yes. know why it says episode uh, one. Yeah, it's on Prime. I, I know, so I only obviously did episode one. What did you think? I kind of laughed at some certain things. You know, it takes a while for her to get into the punchline. Let's call it that. Okay, but then I'm when she does, then I go, oh yeah, that was really funny. But it takes a while. So funny. So lo and behold, I'm listening and I'm going. I feel like I've heard this firefighter thing before. I feel like I re- and I'm, I'm going. We saw Tig Notaro live. Uh, this was the show. Oh, in Brooklyn. We saw her at the Beacon a few years ago. That was the Beacon that yeah. they filmed that? I yeah. kept thinking, is it the Beacon or the it other one? It was the one? Beacon. Kings? What was the Kings? Not is Kings it? Theater. Oh, okay. okay. Um, it was the Beacon. And I was like, oh, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I think, she, I think she's very funny. The firefighter bit was hilarious. That was, that was really funny. Because really I can relate. Funny. When I had when we had a call 911 and Take, they came into my house. Tina Tower does a bit how like she's got a, such a bad stomach ache she can't get up. And her wife calls the fireman. And she's like, oh, this guy's kind of hot. And like, okay, you could carry me. And like, it was very funny. That was funny. That was it funny. Was it was also funny. funny when she talks about her children. Very that was funny. funny. And I so can relate. It's a quick, it's an hour. Like, yeah, put it yeah, on yeah, the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Before we get to the raw shit, did you watch anything else? Well, I tried to give Royal oh, another no, 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 chance. No, no, no. The Palm Royale. Yes, I tried. Okay, respect. I still don't like it. It's, it's, and by the way, whatever I've read about it agrees with me. You know what? I, do, shocker. I might give it up. I yeah. don't know if I'm going to give it up. It's it's not Something, that good. It's not that good. And I had a friend I called text it me right away, and he said, "I'm so glad you said that." And I'm like, "It's not that good." Right now, in addition, I did try the regime. Okay, it's weird. You got to get into that world a little yep, bit. Yep, I yep. mean, I only watched one episode. Okay, and. Uh, why is everything so crazy? Why? I mean, whenever you tell me to watch something, I find these people are insane. How does it get greenlit? greenlit? Yeah. How? I mean, they're looking I for guess, something different. Kate it, Winslet is fucking great in this. No, she's great. Did I don't, you hear I, her voice? Yes, like she's got yes, I don't mean to say anything bad about right. any of the act. It's just, no, 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 no. The, the acting line, is great the, in this. The acting is just the storyline is like so crazy. I know. But, but I it think was it's good. but I think at least the regime is like a take on how ridiculous people in power are and how everyone is a yes person if you're in power. I agree with that you. Has, yes, that is yes, that. Yes. Palm that, Royale, it's just rich I, people I was, like being stupid. So, I just could not. It's so over so the top. Good. Exactly. It's so over the top. Well, All right, you gave it a shot. I gave it a shot as I did with some other things and I just couldn't get... Th- now, I am known for watching anything and, and going through it, whether it's shitty are you or though? not. I am. I will never walk out of a movie, certainly in a movie I theater. know, but I feel like you do watch and stop. Well, Mom, you, you hold hold on. You have watched and stopped and fast forwarded to right. finale. And what I, are you talking about? And I probably will do that for a lot of these shows that we're talking See, about. See, well, I don't know who you are. Yeah, that I you know. could just say I, you, oh, you always watch things through. No, I used to. Felice, I'm before, disappointed before the, wait, that you wait, wait, just wait. said that. Before there was like Netflix and all that, I was able to do that. But the shows are getting crazier and crazier. Felice, I'm they sorry. Are. They you, are. Girl, okay. you, you are a fast forwarder. Yes, you are a skip I am. ahead. I'm a skip ahead. Um, let's go to Uncut. I watched something before we get to what we both watched, which was like, I texted Felicia that she had to do this, and I'll say in a minute. I watched, look, Felicia looks so nervous. Oh, God, I'm going, what did she text me to watch? I don't remember. Before remember. you got here, uh, there's a comedian, which, and I don't really find him so much a comedian as so much, I, I would consider him more of a storyteller. He's got a new show on Max called, the, uh, it's Gerard Carmichael. It's called Gerard Carmichael, The Reality Show. And I've t- spoken to you about this before. He had a special on Max. Don't worry, Mom. I didn't give you this homework. This man had a special on Max where he comes out. He comes out of the closet. Okay. Okay. The special was called uh, Rathaniel. and I'm not going to give the reason why for this. You have to watch that special. Did I you told enjoy you to watch it? Did, it. I know, but I don't remember that special. I loved. If and you don't, not, if you don't text me the name to watch, oh, I can't remember. Fine. Sorry, that's fair. That's fair. Sorry. So listen. I know we should start a notes a shared collaborative uh, notes right. document. I want to watch because I can't. Oh, remember that's why all I have my media stuff. diet. I do watch it. I, I mean, I do. No, I know. I do so listen that. to this. So uh, I can't watch he, all the stuff you're watching. I know, mom. But okay. listen, and maybe this isn't. She's for She's yelling you. at me. This maybe this isn't for you. He has a reality show. It just dropped yesterday, Friday night. Huh? and one episode is out. I know somebody that that worked on it as well. And is it on Max? It's on Max. Okay, and. So this, but my point is, is that he's not like doing stand up. He's sitting down in a chair at this during the special, and storytelling and telling a story how he came out to his parents. Oh, that could be parents, interesting. And his parents are like, no, yeah, no, not you happening. Go somewhere, you're getting fixed. You know, um, all this, all the right. things. 
So he's got this reality show and it's very intimate and it's very raw and there's some funny bits and he's storytelling while like he's on stage doing storytelling about how, you know, about what's going on in his life right now. There's a spoiler. Is he cute? He's adorable. Okay. A uh, spoiler, and it's it's not so much, it's all over the internet tonight, because now that the show came out, it's all over that he told his best friend that he's like in love with him, Tyler, the creator, um, who's also gay. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so, but lo and behold, I thought this was really interesting. The show where he came out as gay on the special won him an Emmy. Oh, good for him. The show where his, he comes out as gay. Right. His parents was, so, okay, I'm glad. I am, I'm, I'm glad. so into yeah. this. Sh- I'm, I'm really looking forward to continue watching this. If you're into him, if he's hosted SNL once, he wasn't really known. Like he's not At that time, known, but people right. that know him love him. So, and by the way, just can I add one thing? Sure. Makes me very, very, very sad when these the parents pe- don't accept. Right. When the parents don't accept. Yeah. I would accept my children under any condition, maybe if they were not, a, if they were a murderer, I might not, I might okay, not accept this is that. Good to know. However, good to know, right? Yeah. I can't understand how you would give up your child and not talk to I them know. over something like that. I think it's like a little bit of a religious thing. I know and- it's mostly it is, or if you're in the Southern Belt and you know you're yeah. like middle middle, of, it just makes me cra- makes me crazy how you can give up and not talk to your children, guy, woman, g- women, men, whatever it may be, trans, whatever it may be. I how always dare knew you? that you were accepting because when Felicia back in the day. Day Day in the 80s was a travel agent. Her best friend from work was travel uh, was a flight attendant. Yes, he was. Named Ray. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. But yes. like if you were a travel agent, how did you know a flight attendant? Because he was work. Oh, he was because as a part-time job, he was working in the agency that I was working. And we became like really good friends. Besties. I actually and he lived in Long Beach. Still? No, I, still. Oh, I, I was like, know. do you ever have a, do you ever talk to him? No, no, no. no. Remember, my mom had a gay friend named Ray. Like that's all yes, I remember. And he had a boyfriend who also worked. I think he was. He, I think he worked for L L. Believe it or not, and for what? L L. The airline. Okay, okay. And I actually went to Fire Island with them. Once. What? Yes, I took a drive out to Fire Island or boat ride, whatever you want to call it, and we had a great afternoon. I love this. We had such a good time. Yes, I love this. I, I mean, so you I lost touch. Well, Do you know you his know, last we, name so I can no, find him? I, no. I, he I, might be I, dead. We don't even know. I don't know. Was he I your don't. age or was he older or younger? He, I think we were the same. I was so much younger then. Yes. Well, I know. Yeah. But Felicia yeah. was a travel agent before like the internet took over. Right. And it's that's like when we, I gave it up because the internet took over yeah. and I couldn't adjust. Anyway. Felicia, what I wanted us to talk about, and I want to give a good, uh, some good time to this because we both watched it. Martha fucking Stewart. Yes, we did. The Many Lives of Martha Four Stewart. Four episodes. On Max. I loved By the way, it. What I a loved great, it. What a great title. It really is The Many Lives of Martha and it, Stewart. And it certainly is. I'm going to go back. To, she's amazing. She's amazing. She's amazing. Now, throughout my life, I don't. I never knew... I never knew that she was like uh, like worked worked in stock. Right. Like I never when knew she was, she was like yes, yes. she went to Yale, right? Yes. She, oh, I don't she know. She was she went so to, smart. She was so, and she's she is very smart, obviously. Like, did she get away with shit? What like what? When she started hiring people to work for her. Like she opens oh. up this catering business and she and people were like, I think I want more money. And she was like, No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean What about a, her deal with Kmart? I didn't realize she had this big deal with Kmart. I don't think I realized it was Kmart. She did sell to a lot of like Bed Bath, I think. Target. No, but before that, I know it was Kmart. Like, she right. had this huge deal with Kmart. She was not happy in the beginning about Kmart. I know she because it wasn't high, good enough for right, her. She wanted the higher end, but you make more money. These, when I know Kmart that's why these celebrities have deals at Target right, now. Right, I know because right. you know. do because it sells. And it, there was it, no Target in the eighties, right? Like oh, there, I don't, I don't I think don't there know. was. I don't know. Is Take, there still Kmart around? I don't know. I take. I've never been into a Kmart. I've never, never been to a Walmart, and we're going to take you on a goddamn field trip. I know, but I got to say, I love white collar crime. I do. I'm a big fan of white collar crime. Meaning, Listen, like, I like watching it. I know she she took it on the chin. She did a great the best job. Best thing this woman best. did. Now, best. I will tell you this: my whole life, I thought. She went to jail because of tax fraud. I thought she like, but it wasn't um, no, that wasn't, at all. No, it wasn't. I, I highly recommend this. Highly, highly, It was highly, really highly. good. And by the way, I don't know who her doctor is as far oh, as well, classic. Well, go there. That's she looks four. gorgeous. She's, she's amazing. She's amazing. She's but 80. Is she she's 80? 82. I, I, I should look so good now. And I mean, she looks amazing. But she does. What I realize is the best thing that Martha did against her, her people was she didn't appeal. Right. When she, she got said, sentenced. I'm, 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 and I'm I doing it, it and get it over with and done. If I did something white collar crime-ish, I too would say, I'll just go to jail to get this over with. Because right. it took up so much of her life. So much. Also, 
All the money you got to spend on the lawyers. Right. Masani, I don't think the money was, I don't know, money was an issue she for her. She did not but. go to jail for trading, inside trading. She went to jail apparently she because lied. she lied. And apparently, it was so sad because she only, it was like $45,000. It was that, like a drop in the bucket. Nothing to her. It wasn't about that then. It I was know, because no, it was she not. Fucking it was because lied. she lied. She, she lied. lied to the FBI. She lied to every, and that was, yeah. What was Which, also shocking to me was this man, Sam Waskell. Yes. He he fucking served 87 months in jail, that man. He went to jail, not not only for that whole insider trading. Right. He went to jail for wire fraud and a lot more. Now, Martha declined to be on the show. Yes, she did. But this guy didn't. Yes. And I kind of enjoyed that this man was on the show. No, I'm, I, I really, I cannot tell you how much I enjoyed the show. It was so I really, good. once, I was, so, I mean, you kept saying, my, did you watch it? And I went, no, nah, I don't have the time, blah, blah, blah. And I finally said, okay, give it a shot. It, I loved it. I really, really did. Did you watch it all in like one beat? Absolutely. You didn't stop. I didn't stop. Like, it was what great. were the hours of you viewing this program? I don't know. I don't, it was night. I don't know. Well, I like, go to you, sleep so you, late. Did you, did you do it over more than one day? Probably a two dayer. I probably mm. did episode one and two, then two and three, you know, whatever. So four, it was really enjoyable. It's really good. Yes. And the comeback, she was just planning for God the bless. Jail. God bless. She is so freaking smart. So, in honor of Martha, we oh. have something special today. Casey, why don't you take a picture of this? We have Martha's shard. It's what's the best is that the wine is 19 crimes. Mom, oh, she's, you know what? Do you know who this, do you know who this is with? Well, I know it's with, um, Snoop. uh, wait, Snoopy. I love Snoop. Mom, Not you can't Snoopy. call him Snoopy. I'm sorry. Snoop. Yes. Fully. And they're best, they're be- I think they're besties. They're very close. Yes. What I thought was really funny, the start of this whole, like, Martha's funny, was her doing the roast for Justin yes, Bieber. Yes, because she makes fun of herself and she's, she gets the, Obviously she gets were, the joke. There were writers on that roast. Right. But the fact that she was down for it. Right. Spoke, she, spoke, she, I mean, she, it was great. I, she's great. She's great. She knows how to play the audience. Now, let's go. I'm going to ask you this, Val. You're not a homemaker. Not at all. But were you like when in the 80s when you were home making dinner? No, I did not watch it. And no, I did don't Did you ever cook. own a book? No. Did you never ever- owned a cookbook, which is why you don't cook. <laughs> Sorry. Did you ever like but when no. you were- No. no. She's not no. even no. let me no. finish. No, let me tell you why. I, I, I don't enjoy cooking because let me just- but you did make like a chicken parm once a week. I mean, you know, because that's what daddy liked. I chicken liked parm it too. And meat. Yeah, well, you know, I you wasn't- a meatball. I really did not cook for, for you and Craig. It was really for daddy. You were cooking like every day for daddy when we were kids? What? Yes. So you did cook though. Well, yeah, but it wasn't cooking. But well, you never owned a cookbook. No, never. Nor and I. it wasn't cooking. Were you ever into like like the gardening or and her home decor? No. <laughs> home decor, not Martha's, but I liked home decor. And I was never into gardening because I didn't like. But bugs like, I'm and my a- oh, mom. What I'm really trying to get at is like, were you ever a fan of Martha Stewart? Or I, now you are. I am now. Isn't I am that now. I am now. I remember when she had that apprentice when she was on the Apprentice. apprentice. I don't remember. Do you think she's like buds with Trump still? Oh God, I hope not. I think I, she, I, th- I don't think she's stupid enough to do that. Mom, a lot of people love him, and he's our next uh, president. I don't get it. All right, talk about it. Bye, okay. Felicia. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Marnie. No, mom. There's another segment. We're not over. We got to talk about what we're going to watch this week. <laughs> She's laughing so hard. Felicia, into the mic so people can see you laughing. <laughs> What's so oh, funny? You thought we were know. over. I thought we were I just over. I said to stop. We're not going, we, we don't talk about politics on this show. You're right. We do not talk no, about politics. I'm letting we everybody know. Right. So when I met you, Trump, in a pop culture way. I know, I can't help you get, it. I, I know, I can't help it. We're going to have a real my, problem my, this year. My, 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 my head explodes. I know. But let's not go there. Let's not okay. go there. So I just want to tell you, me and Casey... We're halfway through, not even, three body problems. We're going to finish that. Oh. Enjoying. Yes. Are you enjoying it, both of you? Yes, we are. And okay. we're going to talk. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you understand it? Yes. Did you understand until you got, I mean, because I had a, the first- Are you giving season. spoilers away? No. Okay. Sorry. No, no. You got to stop no, saying just, sorry. No, no, It just took me like, I got to the third episode and I went, oh, I think I said that last week. Now like, I get it. Aliens? Is that what you meant? Aliens? That, yes. Okay. Yes. I do love the dude from Game of Thrones, and I know what happens. I'm not going to yes. say what happens, right. but I, I right. think this right. is a big show. Yes. I think it's number one. I on really Netflix. enjoyed it. Yes. Um, I still haven't done Roadhouse. Um, oh, yeah. I have want to. to watch the. There's a Steve Martin doc out that just came out. Yeah. I think, now. Like, yeah. Yes, this I weekend did, on uh, Apple right. TV. Right. Right. Um, now the big show that a lot of people are asking me about if I've watched and I haven't watched yet, and I know we both want to watch it is on Hulu. We are the lucky ones. And I, I and because I lost to, that my my Felicia game plan, had a moment. Wait, my game plan was to watch it yesterday, and you would have fucking night. finished it before today. Which but would they have been only crazy. released, I think, two or three episodes. Oh, right, it's episodic, episodic. Oh, because I right. can't binge all. Right, right. I know it's hard, and. 
I like I said, I lost my Hulu, so I got it back this morning. Thank and I God, and I, thank God, and that's my go-to show. And but I have you started work. it? No, okay, no, because I did. I wasn't gonna. I didn't want to. I had to come he- All right, here. Yes, you had to come, and here. I did not want to. So start I, I will say this. I watched the trailer, not online. I watched it like on Hulu. When As you go did to, like, I. As did I. Okay. The trailer. Yes. So I will say this. I'm hearing this song in the trailer and I'm like, this song is so good. I know these words. I know these words. This song sounds familiar. I shazam it. And? Nothing. Oh. I start Googling song trailer from We Are The Lucky Ones. Yes. And there's a Reddit thread and there's all these people like, this is a Credence cover. Credence. Oh. Um, you mean Credence Clearwater? Yep. Long wow. as I could see the light. That's and an it's, oldie. It's nowhere to be found. Wow. Because they hired like a creative agency to make the trailer and they must have hired somebody to make this cover. It's uh, triumphant. It's cinematic. And it's amazing. Oh, and can't wait. I'm excited. And I'm, I, I, that's my go-to I feel tonight. Like this I'm has on been, it tonight and tomorrow. Okay. Because I don't have to come here tomorrow. <laughs> it's, I have a day. Wow, Felish. So are you saying rains, you don't want to really come happy. over? It's not going to rain. Um, are you saying you don't want to hang out with me? No. I'm, I, I need to watch my show. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I feel like this is the year of like World War II shows. We've got the new or, look. Or, we yes. had A Small Light, which I fucking love. I loved. We're going to yes. do We Are the Lucky Ones. And yes. coming out soon is the tattooist of, of Auschwitz. I know. That's oh, They're so, all books. I know. I know. Who's playing? And I, I we knew We discussed it. this. I, I don't we remember. Did? Yeah. We, I, no, I don't know if we did on we, the we show. We did not discuss it. But I when they showed him, I knew who he is. Yeah. I just don't remember his name. All right. We'll get there in May. All right. All right. So, Felice, we got a lot to do. I've got a really, really busy week. I'm going to, I was stressing this week over watching stuff. No I, kidding. That's why I've been up since three in the morning watching things. Oh, and by the way, if you are listening, and we do have a, a bunch of listeners now. Like, yes. overall, we've got like 2,500 listens, which is amazing. Follow me at, at Marnie Jagger to get updates and reminders about the, the pod. So, this is the real one, mom. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Marnie. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia.